Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today we're going to do a bit of a concealer combat. We're going to be trying out the new one from It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer Serum. And we're going to put it to test with the OG concealer, a concealer I'm sure at one point many of you have had in your stash or maybe it's just your holy grail concealer at the moment and we're talking about the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm going to be wear testing these side by side today on my 41 year old normal to oily skin. I'm really excited for this one. I do have a full review up already on the new dark spot uh, concealer serum in case you're interested in checking that out. But if you guys are interested in seeing how today's concealer combat is going to go keep on watching good morning guys or good evening whatever time of day it is that you are watching today's video it is early in the morning for me i am getting ready to go to work but i definitely didn't want to leave before i did today's combat and if it's your first time watching me i just want to say hello and welcome all of you do me a favor click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you can be notified every time i drop a new video because i love testing out new complexion products, foundation, concealers especially, and I also do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. You see a lot of new makeup content here on my channel. So what am I going to do first? I'm going to treat this, what I've been doing with my concealer reviews lately is I've been treating them as foundation. So I've been wearing them all over the face just so that we can see how they wear in a larger area rather than just under the eyes or right here on the sides of the cheeks. Like I really want to put the concealers to the test today. So I have a lot of products spread out in front of me. Um, I'm going to wear like the same primer, the same powder setting spray on both sides of my face. And the primer I'm going to go in with is one of my favorites. This is one of my holy grail primers. And this is the one from Catrice. And this is their one minute face perfector. So in case you're unfamiliar with it, this is what it looks like. It does, I'm just warming it up on my fingertips. It will kind of leave a little bit of a hint of color to the complexion, but for the most part, it just really melts into the skin, but it helps to blur and camouflage the look of pores. All I know is that my makeup always goes on really nicely on top of this Catrice primer. And right now you can find Catrice on Amazon and on their website. I'm even taking it up under my eye area. I do already have like my skincare on, which of course includes sunscreen, eye cream, all that good stuff. Now, before I begin applying both of these concealers, I just want to throw up this graphic really quick. So the new Dark Spots Concealer, that retails for $30, and there are 18 shades available. The OG Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, that one retails for $29, and I believe there are 24 different shades available. So they're right about the same price point almost the same shade range but um they definitely say they're going to be doing different things the new dark spots concealer is going to be more of a medium coverage buildable coverage concealer while the bye bye under eye is definitely a full coverage if you're familiar with that one you know that concealer can cover anything and everything. They're both going to have like anti-aging um, ingredient properties. They both contain hyaluronic acid. However, the new Dark Spots Concealer does contain caffeine and niacinamide, all of which is going to help just kind of brighten the complexion a little bit, especially the under eye area. Now, like a lot of makeup especially foundation and concealer products that have been coming out, I would say, within the last year. They're all formulated, of course, with various skincare ingredients that all claim that uh, the extended use of these products is going to visibly improve the look of your complexion, whether it be to fade dark spots, whether it be to um, diminish you know, fine lines. I don't necessarily agree with those claims. You know, I like that they put the skincare ingredients in there, but you want to get your skincare primarily from your skincare products and not from your makeup. So please don't buy into those claims 
too, too much with prolonged use, your skin is going to look better. Stick to your anti-aging skincare products. That is going to be more or less a for sure way to help combat whatever skin issues you have going on. So we're going to start first with the new Dark Spots Concealer. And the shade that I have in this one is shade Fair Warm 12. Now on this one, you do get like this little applicator right here, which I'm sure you guys have been noticing a lot of concealers have been coming out with like little applicators attached to them and you get a small little doe foot applicator. I am not one of those that uses <laughs> that little brush or sponge, whatever it is that's attached to the, um, to the top of the product or bottom of the product. I just, you know, I have my own tools. I have my own tools that I like to use and I just stick with that. Um, and then if I'm in a pinch and I don't have those tools, I'd honestly rather just apply it with my fingertips because that really helps to warm up the product and just helps it melt into your complexion. I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. I think this is the one for this year. It's a really pretty one. It was a white one this year. And I'm just going to start blending this on the complexion. This, I think, is a really good shade match for me. Again, I have a full dedicated video. It's like a 13 or 14 hour wear test that I did on this new concealer. Um, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that video, it wasn't my favorite concealer. You know, I mean... I guess because I was expecting it to have a little bit more coverage and I felt like it should have had more coverage, especially if it was going to be covering dark spots. This one says it's only going to be a medium coverage, medium buildable coverage. So go from there, guys. Um, one of you all out there told me it was my friend Tia Lu from Tia Lu Makeup. She said that this was actually a today's special value on QVC and they were like two for 38, almost like two for the price of one. So head on over to QVC. Maybe they still have a special like that going on in case maybe you want to pick up like your skin tone shade and then maybe you want to get a darker shade to like contour or bronze or something. So that went on top of the Catrice Primer perfectly, seamlessly, as typically all my foundations, anything I put on top of that Catrice Primer, Primer is just absolutely amazing. And I think it's only like 10 bucks. So I definitely recommend checking that primer out. I'll have it linked in the description box. Okay, so that's just with one application. I'm going to move over now to the little It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I have a smaller size. I used to have the full size, but um, I've since used it up. The shade that I have in this one is shade Light. Now, I didn't pump out a lot of product. That's because I don't need a lot of product. If you're familiar with Bye Bye Under Eye, this concealer goes a long way. This is totally full coverage. Um, this gets this gets the job done. And I'm going to use my other It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush to start applying this product. And of course, I had to pick the noisy one. I'm sorry about that. This is actually a concealer that I enjoy applying with my fingertips because this one I feel needs that added warmth because it's not that it's thick, it's a thin consistency, they both are, but this one I feel, I guess for lack of a better word, it is thicker, it's full coverage. I think this side, the new dark spots, is a little easier to blend out. And I'm going to actually get, I still have some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to try applying that with my fingertip under my eye. I'm going to add a little bit more on the dark, dark spots concealer side, just so that they can be even. But this is totally full coverage. Like, I'm not really understanding the need for this new concealer. It Cosmetics has a couple different concealers in their line. I know they have one specifically like for acne, 
and stuff. I've tried that one, but the shades lean a little bit dark for some reason. So it just, I just didn't, wasn't able to get my correct shade. And so I discarded that ooh, a while back. Now you can buy a travel size in this concealer, the Bye Bye Under Eye. Now I want to say the travel size retails for like $13 or $14. I would go with the travel size. That one is going to last a long, long time. And so you can see, like I feel like on this side, it just looks a little more hydrated. It definitely looks more covered versus this side. I am going to build up this side too, but I just wanted to show you the difference. Just going to add a little bit right here. Right here on the sides of my cheeks, this is where I have old acne scars and minor discoloration. Now I did have a damp makeup sponge ready to go. I don't know that I'll need it. This concealer just for me works so much better when you just use your fingertips with it. I mean, use a brush or something to apply it if you're going to wear it as a foundation, which you typically can. Don't be afraid of using concealer as foundation. Um, that's, definitely, that's definitely something that can be done. Don't worry about that. Try it. See what happens. You never know. But you might discover so this side I definitely feel full coverage and I look like I'm hydrated uh, I'm not like you know completely matte that's definitely has a little bit of a dewiness to it but this is also one for me that I do need to set and I'm gonna be setting both sides of my face I'm gonna go back with the dark spots. I'm gonna add a little bit under here and right here because this is where I always like to spot conceal. And I'm gonna try using this with my fingertips because in that initial review video, I didn't use it with my fingertips to like just press in. I used my damp sponge and I used my makeup brushes. I want to see if maybe I can get a little bit more coverage out of it just by doing it this way. Let me know if you guys have ordered this already. What has your experience been? It's on the Ulta website, this new Dark Spots Concealer, but it's not available yet. I have a feeling it's going to launch this weekend, so be on the lookout for it. But you can find it on the It Cosmetics website and... Now at QVC, as I just found out. Okay, so I'm going to get the brush I used for this side. And I feel like I need to just press it in a little bit with the brush. Just going to tap over this side too. Okay, so here they both are. Here is the new Dark Spots Concealer. And then here is the new or not the new, the OG Bye Bye Under Eye. I think both sides look great. Um, I like, I kind of liked using my finger with the dark spot side, just because I felt like it actually gave me a little bit more coverage, but I definitely feel like I have more coverage on the Bye Bye Under Eye, and of course I do, because it is a full coverage concealer. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Setting Powder. I've had this powder for so long. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even be using it, but you know what? We are, we're just going to try it out. And it's actually a really good powder. It's a very finely milled powder and it just sits so well under the eye area. And I'm just patting everything out, make sure there's no creases. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to use this to set my new T-zone. I'm going to use a different puff for this under eye area. So you don't want to mix them. And you know what? Oh, I always forget this. I forgot to go in with my setting spray first before the powder. Oh well. So I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get my little BK Beauty brush and I just wanna lightly brush over everything, make sure I don't have like excess powder sitting on my face. 
Now I'm going to use a little bit of my Patrick Star One Size Until Dawn Setting Mist. And okay guys, this is how the complexion is looking. I think everything is in place. I think everything looks almost identical. Um, I do see, you can see right here, you can still see a little bit of darkness coming through versus this side where you can't really see any darkness. And it's just, it just kind of, I don't know. It says bye bye dark spot, so it's supposed to cover darkness, but I don't know, I think it needed more coverage in order to do that. So I am going to add some blush and bronzer. I'll take care of that off camera, but this is going to be a good 10-hour wear test today, a little concealer combat. I'll check in with you guys during lunch, and of course when I get home from work, we'll do the final check-in, and I'll wrap up my thoughts, and we'll see who won. Who won? Which concealer is going to win today's concealer combat? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So 10 hour check in here. This is the end of our concealer combat. Which side do you think looks better? The new Bye Bye Dark Spots or the OG Bye Bye Under Eye? What do you guys think? So uh, as far as the under eye area is concerned, I think they both look smooth. I really think that this powder from It Cosmetics is a must-have especially if you're on the mature side if you have those fine lines creeping in this is a really nice powder the bye bye pores powder for blurring the under eye area it even does a good job with oil control i haven't touched up this face of makeup all day this has been the makeup for the last 10 hours i just <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to the OG, the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer because more coverage, I think it just looks a little bit smoother. Don't get me wrong, I think it looks smooth under here as well and I think the powder has a lot to do with it. But I just like the way this side looks. I have more coverage. Um, I don't necessarily feel I'm shinier on one side versus the other. I think that like right here around my nose, they're both starting to cake up a little bit. Oil is starting to peek through. So that is the reason. And I also feel like right here around my mouth, a little bit on my chin, I've lost coverage a little bit on both sides. But as far as the under eye concealer goes, as far as just like right here where I spot conceal, I think you can clearly see there's less coverage on this side versus this side. And of course, one's medium, one's full. I just can't, and I said this in the review of the Bye Bye Dark Spots, if you're going to want, if this was supposed to be meant for covering darkness, then it should have had more coverage. That is just my opinion, my take on it. I think if you already have your Bye Bye Under Eye, I don't think you need to pick up this new one from It Cosmetics. This is a fantastic concealer. It's full coverage. You can definitely wear it as a foundation the way I wore it today. Um, and I would definitely recommend checking out the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. Great powder for setting the under eye area. Also for setting the T-zone, helping to control oil. And don't forget, my favorite primer, one of my favorite primers, one of my holy grail primers has been for a number of years, the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. You can find it on Amazon and you can find it on the Catrice website. I think it was, I think everything just meshed so well today. I even think the new concealer did better today um, than it did the other day when I initially wear tested. But yeah, concealer combat, the winner is going to be the OG Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. Let me know your thoughts. Did you pick the same winner? Are you maybe liking this side better, the Bye Bye Dark Spots, or are you still team Bye Bye Under Eye? Let me know if you're going to pick up either one of these concealers, or maybe you have them already. What are your thoughts? sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink your water. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.